In this video, we're going to cover social media marketing, what it is, how to get started, what platforms are best for your business, and organic versus paid social media marketing. So social media marketing is where you use social media sites like Facebook, Twitter, YouTube, Instagram to promote your products. With organic advertisements, there's a few ways that you can do this. You can craft high quality blog posts with testimonials about your product and share it on social media with a link to purchase or a coupon code. So a blog post could be top five toothpaste for whitening your teeth and your product is number one. Or it could be um, how this foam roller got rid of my knee pain or this simple trick to get rid of my shoulder pain. And then you could sell them a foam roller or a exercise ball or whatever your private label product is. So you wanna get testimonials from your patient, highlight them with the mention of the product. Um, if you're not a doctor, if you're just a business owner, then replace patient with clients. So if you're a personal trainer, um, you can get testimonials about the products that they're using, whether that be their gloves, a foam roller, um, a specific workout band that's worked really well for them, a wobble board that you use specifically where they can buy it and sell it at home uh, or where they can buy it and use it at home. Uh, paid advertisements are where you actually spend money to get the ads placed on social media with the intention of sell. So promoted ads or posts that highlight your product. You can We found that Instagram and Facebook work by far the best with private label products, but you can experiment and try with other social medias. So to get started, you wanna create social media accounts for your business for Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Google. Every day you wanna post at least one, one thing uh, for those first three platforms. And for Google Plus, you can post once a week or once every two weeks. Google Plus is really good for using SEO, but very few people are actually on there using it uh, on a daily basis. You, for Instagram and Facebook, you definitely wanna use high quality pictures. Instagram is a sh photo sharing platform. And so it's very important that your pictures are very high quality. For Instagram and Twitter, you want to make sure that you're using hashtags uh, around your industry or your specific subject um, because when people are searching for things, that's they're going to use the hashtags to find uh, relevant content. When it comes to Facebook, we found that video ads I by far perform the best. They're the cheapest and they get the most clicks. So if you have a good quality videographer that can film uh, content in relation to your products, that'd be very helpful. But as far as the ad targets, you know, you want to look at age, gender, their interests. You want to drill down and find your target demographic. You want to use page post ads, sponsor stories, promoted posts, get high quality images and videos, use quality headlines and hi that highlight the benefit, not the features, and create a good call to action within the copy. For Instagram, you want to use a, some sort of a call to action on the image, like 50% off today or free shipping. And Instagram is all about the high quality images and hashtags like we mentioned before. As far as the URL, you don't want to put the URL in the comments because those aren't clickable links. So as far as the URL goes, you want to use the URL in your Instagram bio because that's where they can actually click on the link. You want to give lots of details on the sale so for like when it starts, when it ends, the specific details, how to get started with it, and then all of your ads, you always want to cross promote on Instagram and Facebook. And when it comes to ads, if you're not familiar with how to use those or create them, it's a very complex topic when it comes to cost per impression, cost per click, headline copy, uh, video copy, optimizing location, all those different things are very complex. We always recommend hiring ads professional if your intention is to use ads to sell online. This course, we're not gonna cover it too in depth just because our main focus is selling within our business and selling on Amazon because we found that those are the most cost-effective ways to selling our products.